I wanted to share with you my um, Family Heritage mini album that I made for my mother. Uh, it's supposed to be a special album that I've never made one for her. I've made one for lots of the, you know, kids in the family and, and that sort of thing, but never one for, for the grown-ups, really. And this is kind of my first um, real sort of um, vintage-looking work that I've done. But um, notice that there's a lot of ink involved in, in vintage, but I have to say I like it a lot more than I thought I would. Um, I had a lot of fun making it. Anyway, um, the, uh, the binding um, is... Uh, I learned how to do it from uh, following the paper trail from Laura. Um, I think she calls this binding um, stack the deck, which was fantastic for this because if you do a lot of embellishments, you really want to have you know that thickness between the pages, and so it worked perfectly for this album. Um, well, let me just take you through it. So all the uh, all the flowers that you see on here were actually made by me. Um, just, you know, typical rolled flowers, um, many of them made out of um, actual, you know, old books or something like that, um, for example, that one. And some of them are actually just uh, fabric flowers that I pulled apart and then kind of repurposed, grunged up and then repurposed. Um, this one I actually took apart a, a, hand, a pocket watch, an old pocket watch um, that was in some of my grandmother's broken like stuff I'm sure she meant to get repaired someday. Um, and this is uh, an antique button that she had in her stash. I have several of those that I used throughout the, the album. And then that was actually a piece of, um, of antique jewelry from her collection as well. And uh, her collection was vast. Still, still going through it several years later. So, um, but it makes a wonderful embellishments for, for my mini books, so that worked out well. Um, the actual material used on the binding here is um, grass cloth from a wallpaper sample, and I really like the look of it. I would not say that I would necessarily go that route again because it is kind of fragile, so on the edges it did start to fray a little bit like here, so I'm having to sort of glue it back down again, but overall I really like the look. So let me take you through the book. So on the inside pocket here, um, I think that's the uh, Martha Stewart double arches punch. Um, and this is another one of the antique buttons from my grandmother's uh, collection. Um, I actually made this little letter and it was made to look like an old you know, letter. It actually took the stamp off of an, exa an existing postcard from, I think it was around 1910. Um, and then I just wrote the front of this and made it look old. This is just new paper that I made look old. And then I wrote a letter to my mom that just explains why I made this album and why I wanted to pay, you know, tribute to the family and carry on the family traditions. So I will tuck that back in there. It's um, not the easiest way to write nicely, but it got the message across, so I thought it was a nice sentiment to keep it. But I actually used a, a, um, a fountain pen um, to do it. so. Uh, you know, dip in the ink pen that was kind of hard to write on the um, uneven surface afterwards because I grunged up the paper first. So note to self, next time, uh, write first, grunge later. Right, so um, next next page you'll see a cute little, um, uh, I don't know if you can see it in the reflection here, but there's a butterfly stamp that's got um, some embossing, some sparkly embossing, clear embossing uh, on it. And then just um, a few tags that I made for pictures and notes. And then each member of the family, so four grandparents and then me and my sister, I did one page for each branch of the family. And so this one is for my, gran my grandfather who comes from Sicily. And for each one of the family members, I actually made a, a tag that pays tribute to where they're from. So this one, the family name is Spataro, and um, this is the Trinacria, which is the symbol of Sicily. Um, this is again one of these flowers with the um, antique buttons on it. I used silk on the background and stamped it with um, acrylic paint, I think is what I used. Uh, it actually turned out much better than I expected. Um, I don't remember which uh, punch that is, but I think it's the EK Success uh, lace punch or something like that. Um, 
down the sides, just added some little jewels and pearls and then just some punches in the background. Oh, and this is actually lace that comes from one of my great grandmother's pieces of clothing. Um, I put some of their lace throughout the book. I uh, used this, which was, um, I actually used a mask on the background, which I, I've never done before. That was the first time I've ever used a mask. This is one of the silk flowers that I purchased. Um, it's just like from a cheapo dollar bunch of flowers, but I grunged it up by just rubbing it in my hands and then put it back together with one of these antique buttons. Really like the way it turned out. Um, and then I used some, uh, you know, the paint that makes it look like you've stripped it. Uh, I can't think of it off the top of my head, but you know what I'm talking about. So I actually did it on this. It's the real two-step two process, not the, uh, the Tim Holtz stuff. I think I would probably go that route next time if I had the option. I don't think that I knew about it at the time I started this. Okay, so that's that one. I'll go put that later. And then this is a picture of my grandparents from my mother's side of the family. And um, again, one of these flowers that I made with the antique button in the middle. And then I just made some little tags in here that you can use to, you know, write on the back and such. So um, I can't remember who it was that I learned this little pocket on YouTube. It was somebody, I want to say it was a piece of craft, maybe the woman who I learned it from. And I really liked these little pockets. They're very handy. So that was a great little technique. On on this side, um, again, just several little tags. Uh, I think this is, again, an EK Success punch. Um, it's uh, the maybe something circles. Anyway, um, I like that one. This is a wallpaper sample, and I really um, just liked the look of it. I thought it was kind of a neat looking piece. And then these are just some little tags I made, so kind of a music one. And then some flowers, the bird cage. And then this one I liked a lot because this is actually the site of my Italian family that moved to Belgium. And um, this is actually from Brussels, which is where they grew up, but they were Italian. And this is a family picture of that family. So, and that's me. And then again, I have a tag that sort of pays homage to that part of the family. And on this, on this one, it was the Spataros, which is, I'm sorry, the Costanzos, which is my mother's mother. And her family um, moved to, like I said, to, to Brussels, and they were all tailors. And so that's why I have the, uh, the bodice here with the pins and, you know, the stuck on pearls. And again, one of these um, really pretty antique buttons. I really like that one a lot. It was in my grandmother's collection. And on the back, just, you know, used some stamps that I had that I don't get to use very often, actually, to make this wonderful little background. So, and again, another old button here. Then we turn to the next page. And on this one, I actually have a picture of my mom when she was a little girl. So cute. Playing with her dolls. Um, this little uh, flap thing, I think, came from Elsa. Um, I want to say it's um, just a few designs. She had this wonderful little design for a you know where you can put so many little pockets in it, and I just loved this one. Um, I designed this little card that goes inside of it. And then my family was notorious for playing cards. They were always playing cards, so I actually made these little stamped cards. I think it was from... I think it's from Inka Dinka Do, and actually I'm not sure what they all are. I don't remember what this one is um, on the back, but anyway, those turned out pretty cute. I really like the way they look. And then on the third one, there's actually a tag up here. It's just a plain, plain tag that comes out at the top. And a wonderful little photo map that looks really aged and grunged up here on the bottom. 